Hey, bread friends, it's me, Ellen, your crazy baker chick. I know, it's weird. It's just a U-shaped neck pillow that's... Hey, piggy. <laughs> the back of the couch is... I just need it to support my head. Um, and I think I have dots <laughs> in my teeth. Anyway, um, maybe a week or so ago, I posted a video on how to make soft pretzels. And then I kept thinking, you know, like a piece of writing that we teach our children, a piece of writing is never done. There's always something to improve, editing, grammar, syntax, com punctuation, or just even some changing words to make it more interesting, retired teacher. So um, a recipe is also really never done, although sometimes I just choose to say, okay, it's perfect enough. <laughs> so... Today I played with my soft pretzel recipe that I released a few days ago. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did differently. And it's not a lot. Same measurements of everything, okay? I omitted sugar and I omitted oil. So what's left over? Water, flour, salt, yeast, that's it. And instead of using all-purpose flour, I actually went the other end of the spectrum to high gluten flour, Sir Lancelot, King Arthur Sir Lancelot, high gluten flour. You could also get the same effect by using bread flour and adding about 10 more grams of 10 grams of vital wheat gluten to get a high gluten flour. So either one. Everything was this otherwise the same. I made the dough in the bread machine. I divided the pretzel dough up. This time I did 11 instead of eight, just to have a little bit smaller ones. They were slightly harder to roll. So you had to like roll the rope part way and then let it sit for five minutes to kind of let the gluten relax a bit. But otherwise it was fine. Um, and shape the pretzels exactly like I did in the other video and do the baking soda in the water, in the hot water, but not boiling, exactly the same. Um, I left the egg wash off of some and the flour stuck. I mean, the, not the flour, the salt, but I egg wash some more and they just are shinier and prettier. I don't really think the egg wash changes any taste or anything, but the result was a little bit more pretzely tasting and a little bit more chewy, more like a pretzel vendor pretzel, I think. Although I didn't have any to compare side by side. But husband and I both think they're more like a soft pretzel that you would buy like at Disneyland or from a street vendor in New York or a carnival or whatever. They're a little bit more like that. They're more chewy. And they also kind of kept the holes better, if that makes sense. Um, on the cover of this video, I'm going to put a picture of them and you'll see what I'm talking about. The, the holes stayed holes a little bit better, um, instead of closing up. Um, both recipes are awesome. Both are delicious. We love both, but this is a variation. I'll call it that. Okay. All right. So I will just right below this in the description. I'll give you the website. I'll give you the link, you know, to the recipe and everything. But it's almost no different other than the flour and omitting two other ingredients. It's very simple. It's, it's pretty much it's the same process. Okay.